everybody. Uh, welcome to eGurukula YouTube channel. Uh, please uh, like and uh, subscribe so we will accept uh, your support. In this class, let us see how to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. We know the meaning of arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression see it is a list of numbers in which every consecutive term if you take a difference between any two consecutive terms in uh, that uh, list of numbers it will be remains same that is called an arithmetic progression so let us take an example of arithmetic progression Example of arithmetic progression 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now let us see, see how to find the nth term, how we are going to get the nth term of uh, this particular arithmetic progression. See, uh, let us assume the first term. Common difference as uh, let us assume the first term of arithmetic progression is as a and the common difference as b. Now, here in this particular example, uh, the first term is given by. difference is nothing but the difference between any two consecutive terms. The difference between any two consecutive terms. See, the difference between first two terms, 4 minus 2, that is 2. The difference between second and third term, 6 minus 4, that is 2. Therefore, the common difference is 2. Now, I am going to write 2 as the sun. The second term, 4 as 2 plus 2 and the third term 6 as 2 plus 4 and the fourth term 2 plus 6 and 2 plus 8 and so on. Again, I am write 2 as the Plus 
this is d common difference d is into e this two e see this side that means second side i'm going to write this one as d from two minus one again this is a plus d into three minus one similarly a plus d into four minus one similarly a plus d into five minus one and so on now say observe all the terms so i'm going to write the first term as a plus d into a and i write it is so that the value remains same as it is now see by using this we observe all the terms see in let us assume somewhere there is nth term in between nth term between nth term see let us find out the value of this nth term now say observe every every term see in every term there is a first term a i am going to write therefore the nth term will be we can we call it as we denote as tn that is equal to the first term is a because see in every term there is a therefore in nth term also we must have a we are generalizing this uh, this here now plus see in every term after the a there is plus and then see here in every term there is d i am going to write d as d and then now observe in the first term see it is zero it is with d into in bracket it is zero that means i am going to write it as a plus d into 1 minus 1 see observe here this is the first term therefore 1 minus 1 this is the second term therefore it is 2 minus 1 this is third term therefore 3 minus 1 this is fourth term for 4 minus 1 for fifth term it is 5 minus 1 therefore we can generalize for nth term it may be n minus 1 therefore it may be n minus 1 see therefore if this is the nth term of arithmetic progression that is see if you denote nth term of an arithmetic progression as tn therefore it is given by tn is equal to a plus d into n minus 1 see this is the nth term of an arithmetic progression where a is the first term of arithmetic progression and d is the common difference of the arithmetic progression thank you